Well, we do have some good news for you tonight. Today was clear the shelters day across America. It's a day where abandoned furry friends find their forever homes here in Springfield. Some organizations had their own events. Our David Chazanov went to rescue one's event at Petsway this morning and he met a foster owner of five years. So David, what inspired this owner to do this for so long? Crystal, I met with Miros Mitchell. Mitchell says she loves saving animals from bad situations. She enjoys changing an animals life for the better. Finding homes for them, it is very enjoyable because then you see the aftermath of how good they've done and the life that they have ahead of them with their new family, and it's just satisfying. I mean, it's just great. Miros Mitchell has been fostering animals from shelters for five years. I get to see them when they are scared, they're not sociable, or they come from where they've been neglected, starved. Mitchell turns these animals' lives around. Once you get them out of there, you start seeing their little personalities come out, little smiles, playfulness, and it's, it's all worth it. Anyone can foster an animal, but what makes someone a good foster owner? A good match would be um, the best. So a dog that likes to do things that you do, like Poppy likes to lounge and watch TV, so if you like to lounge and watch TV, she would be perfect. Care Rescue's Emily Elkin says being there for them helps too. Taking them to vet checkups when they need it, giving them the proper care and love. Rescue One's Fran Ritchie thinks an owner should be patient. Because some of our animals really, uh, they have some problems coming in and we want people who are going to be patient and who are going to be willing to help them. Richie adds that a foster owner should get familiar with their animal. Someone also who is going to be willing to tell potential adopters everything they need to know. Mitchell believes more people should be foster owners. It just gives them a sense of, of saving a life and knowing that they made a difference for that one animal. She loves fostering, even if it's temporary. I would have a house full, but I can't, but at least I get to enjoy them for a little bit and then they go to their forever homes. Now, 30 dogs and two cats got adoption applications at Rescue One's event. Some animals have even found their forever homes already. Back to you. Oh, I would take them all home, David. I really would.